Hey guys, and welcome to Easy Peasy Redstone, a tutorial series where I talk really close to the mic. You like that, don't you? <laughs> was, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, come back, don't close the window, I'm so sorry, no. This is not a series where I verbally molest you. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, are we, are we, are we okay? We co? We co? Alright. <laughs> So let me tell you what this series is about before I get started. First of all, this series is is geared toward beginner to possibly intermediate redstone users. Okay, so if you're well versed with redstone and you know what you're doing with it, you're most likely not going to see anything that surprises you in these videos. Hopefully, hopefully I do use redstone creatively enough to the where you know where you do learn something but the main focus of of these videos are to show beginner to intermediate users uh something that they can use something that's easy to set up and and you know uh yeah that all that so there, there you go that's the series in a nutshell so for those of you who who uh who learned something from this tutorial give me some feedback you know i really appreciate it let me know if you like this idea if so, I'll continue with with with, uh, with easy peasy. So, with that in mind, let's begin our tutorial. All right. First, let me show you uh, what this one is. So, to control double doors with a button, usually uh, what people will do is put it down here and then run the wiring underground, or um, <clears throat> they like. There's, here's an elegant solution. Do something like this. Whoops! Not take out that block. <laughs> what am I doing? Something like that, and then you could you could hide your. I don't. I f I forget how it's done. But anyways, the point is, it's kind of a hassle, and so here's a way that you could do it to where the button is two blocks off the ground, and uh, the wiring is completely underneath, so you don't have to worry about you know decorating it, with the exception of this right here. But we'll get to that later. So. Let me show you how to build this thing. All right. All right, let's get started. So, decide where you're going to have your door and dig two holes. Place your floor and your doors. Now, from here go <clears throat> block whatever it's your house is made of. Redstone lamp and block on top of the lamp and then a button on that block. Like so. Right in front of all this, um go two by four hole like this and make it three deep so that's one two and whoa whoa three dig everything underneath the the lamp and then dig a hole there and knock these two blocks out like so <clears throat> also while we're at it the two blocks underneath the floor knock those out as well okay now Place a uh, sticky piston underneath the lamp facing down, give it whatever block, and then a hole right where this block is going to go. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to run some redstone dust through that hole this way, like this. Okay, and then put a redstone torch right there, and that's it for that. Now on these blocks, right below the doors, two redstone torches. And the last thing is, repeaters leading into those blocks. And that's it, you're done. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's it. Um, now I'm going to give a little bit of more explanation. So basically the tutorial on how to build this is over. If you guys are interested in, in uh, my my blatherings about what I'm going to say next, then, then uh, stick around. If not, well, thank you for watching. And see you in the next tutorial. Okay, so... <clears throat> in case you've caught on, yes, this does take advantage of block update detection. Um, so this piston does act like, you know, does have bud switch-like behavior. Uh, and that being said, you, you probably have thought, well, why not use a clock? Yeah, you could use a clock. You could have a clock running, running underneath constantly, and uh, that'll be good enough to to operate the store. But the thing about this is let's see, let me cut this off real quick. And let's see, redstone. Alright. So now that we have this clock, 
uh, this piston is going to receive its update from this clock, so we no longer need that lamp. And as you can see, it still works. However, uh, like I was going to say, clocks, they break. All right. Yes, even self-resetting clocks, especially on servers, they just, they just, they can't handle the lag. I don't know what it is, but they break. Okay. Until this gets fixed, I suggest using the lamp. Uh, because let me show you what happens if I log out and log back in real quick. Uh, I'll be back. And there we have it. It only took me two tries to get this clock to be stuck. Uh, it might not have happened with self-resetting clocks. However, on servers, even self-resetting clocks get stuck. So that's why um, I shy away from using clocks and instead use the redstone lamp to give the piston its update. All right. There you go. Now, um, if you're curious about how this works, if you if you don't already know, let me let me get into that a little bit. Okay, so um, I suggest uh, looking up anything having to do with butt switches. Learn learn how why butt not why but how butt switch works. Okay, uh, I I don't want to get into a, a full um, explanation of butt switches. Rather, I just want to go through the process of what's happening uh, with this setup in particular. So, where's my... here we go. So, this is what's happening, okay? When I press this button, this block gets power. That means that this piston is ready for an update, and it will go out if it detects an update. So, where's that update coming from? This lamp. When it turns on, when it turns on that's the update. So... There you go. Now let's do this in slow motion, okay? Um, let's go to here. <clears throat> slow motion. Uh, let's let's pretend that's a lamp, okay? Because we don't want it to go off early. Okay. Now this is what's happening, okay? We're gonna we're gonna place a lever instead, so that way we could we could uh, go through each state. Now you press the button, okay? Now this block has power. All right. The block, I mean the lamp here turns on. This piston detects that change, so it goes on just like this. Okay? Now the button goes back out because it's only a pulse, of course. That means that this block is off, meaning that if there's another block change, a block update next to this piston, it will retract. Like so. Okay? And oh I missed it. I messed up. I messed up. Okay, so button goes off. Lamp turns off. Okay? And that's what's happening. That's pretty much the process of what's happening. Um, that's it. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, if you guys liked this, you know, if you like, guys, like the idea of this series, please let me know. Uh, you know, I would really appreciate the feedback. It, and uh, hopefully I, I you learned something new. Hopefully I explained things well. And so that's it. So thank you for watching. And see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Redstone. A tutorial series where I bring to you Redstone Easy Peasy. Easy Peasy. Easy Peasy. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Easy Peasy Redstone. Why do I sound like a clown? <laughs>